Hey guys, it's Reese from Glide. Today, I'm excited to show off our completely redesigned chart component, which makes it easier than ever to bring powerful data visualization into your Glide apps. It now automatically transforms and summarizes your data for you, so you no longer need to rely on helper tables or rollups for calculations. It also includes new chart styles and color options, built-in filters for time series analysis, and the ability to source data from any table, regardless of the screen you're working on. I'll show you around all of these great new features so you can make more focused, interactive, and modular charts for your business. Okay, so I'm in my Investor Portal app, and we're looking at a portfolio company called Atlas Robotics. And you can see already that I have a ton of different charts set up for revenue, expenses, and so on. But first, we're gonna take a look at the revenue chart. So at first glance, this might look like your regular run-of-the-mill bar chart, but there are a ton of more customization options on the right-hand side. If you're using a date column in your data table, you're able to take advantage of new built-in time range options like the ones that you see here. And this allows you to get incredibly granular into your data. So I've toggled on show time range selector, and you can see this filter here for 30 days, 90 days, quarter to date, and even all. So you can really visualize your data by virtually any time period. Okay, let's move on to our expenses chart. So here we're comparing cost of goods sold versus operating expenses, and we're using our new stacked bar chart style. And this allows us to easily compare how each cost category is contributing to total spend over time. Next up, we have our gross margin versus burn rate chart, and we're using the new scatter plot chart type. And last but not least, we have our net revenue retention versus customer acquisition cost chart, where we're using our new area chart. And you can also use a stacked area chart, just depending on your preference. Okay, now let's go back to our original revenue chart to take a look at some of the new customization options. So on the right-hand side, if we look at revenue, if you open this item, you can see that you can set a specific caption. You can toggle between auto color mode and manual. And if you do go to manual, you can type in a hex code, or you can just say a simple word like white, and it will change the color to match that. The last option that we have is aggregation. So you can toggle between sum, average, maximum, minimum, and count. All right, so that's a quick look at some of the new things you can do with our revamp chart component. Whether you want to visualize investment performance, sales metrics, or track project progress, the new chart component finally has it all. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.